Well, it's not very often that we get to go inside the four walls of the people that we so often see on television or uh, maybe at our favorite sporting event. But today we're going to get to do that because we're all forced to be at our own homes. This is At Home with Tim Sinclair, and we're talking with Brad Underwood, the head coach of the Funding Illini basketball team. Hey, coach, how are you? I'm doing great. I hope you're well, Tim, and hope everybody out there is well. Uh, well, so far, so good. I'm a lot less busy than I once was, and, and I'm guessing – uh, over the course of your career, your wife has probably said, man, I, I wish you were home more. I'm wondering if she's still saying that. Well, she hasn't locked me out yet, so that's the, <laughs> that's the positive thing. But, uh, uh, no, we were talking on, on Easter Sunday. I can't remember a time in my kid's life uh, where we've had so many consecutive days of, of eating dinner together. Hmm. And, uh, you know, we grow up in the fast-paced world. I'm gone a lot, especially this time of year. And um, this is this is the silver lining, uh, you know, with 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 the, the the disease and the pandemic is that uh, you know I'm really uh, getting to spend a lot of quality time with college age kids and uh, reconnecting with with that side of it. I'm also becoming pretty good at folding laundry and unload the dishwasher <laughs> and, and and a lot of other things. But uh, yeah, we're we're usually 100 miles an hour this time of year, and now we're. Uh, we're in a little different place. So are you like a, a Monopoly family, Disney Plus? Do you go outside and ride bikes? So, uh, and, and maybe you don't know because you haven't had that many opportunities. But uh, what have these last few weeks been like for you guys when you do have some time together? Yeah, we're big walkers. And, um, you know, now uh, 35 degrees and, and windy is not our favorite walking conditions. But, uh, you know, when the weather gets nice, we'll walk anywhere from 13, 15, 17,000 steps a day. Um, we enjoy that. We've been, we've been, when the weather's nice, we're doing that as a family. Um, and it's, it's good to get out of the house that way. Uh, and, and then it's, um, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Netflix guy a little bit. I've become more and more a Netflix guy. I'm, I've started back with uh, uh, all the James Bond flicks. From the first one, Sean Connery, and and yeah, working way way, back. working my way through those again. So it's uh, uh, you know I do that, uh, but and and really are it's a different busy, but we're pretty busy, and uh, uh, you know we're uh, the days don't drag. Let's let's put it that way. There's still there's still a lot to do. I bet not. You've had to be, I would imagine, pretty creative, maybe a little technical when it comes to continuing to do your job. Obviously, the big part of your job got cut short uh, when the Big Ten tournament got canceled and then the NCAA tournament got canceled. And we've sort of been there, done that. I was the one at the Big Ten tournament who had to announce to the arena full of no one that uh, the, the thing was canceled, which wasn't any fun. Uh, but now, yeah, post-season, uh, you're kind of in the recruiting mode. How does that work when uh, you're not supposed to be leaving the house much? Yeah, it, it's uh, I, I'm really relying a lot on my old junior college days. Uh, you know, we we recruited from uh, from our office and from our homes, and and uh, you know we didn't have the budgets back then to 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 get out and recruit. So uh, you know we have a lot of technology at our disposal. Uh, we have a lot of film uh, that we have access to. Uh, for players, uh, you know, at, at, at all different levels. Uh, but it's, 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 we're doing in-home Zooms uh, with families. Uh, we were very fortunate. We had a lot of our 2021 recruits in, some 22 recruits in, uh, in the last month of the season. So uh, those were young people that we would have brought on campus this spring officially. Um, and, and now we're conducting uh, – uh, zoom in homes with those and showing them our campus, showing them uh, facilities, um, you know, the, what their educational interest in, we're doing those things as well online. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm becoming more and more, I'd never heard of Zoom until uh, here recently, and I'm becoming more and more uh, up to speed with that. And, uh, but a lot of FaceTimes, a lot of text messages, uh, with recruits and, and with our, our, our current players. Do you see the new things that uh, you are learning now or, or having to do changing the way you do things in the future once the, uh, the doors are opened back up to travel? 
Yeah, a little bit. You know, I think the one thing that's that, you know, like I'm scared with is, you know, we have we have the what's considered the transfer portal and so many kids leaving in and out of, of, of programs now uh, that those numbers are going to continue to go up. Uh, it's it's just part of our, our new reality in, in, in the world of sports. But, uh, um, you know, it's very difficult when, you know, you think about we're going to have kids leave their programs. They can't go take campus campus visits. They're going to meet their coaches. If we're back in school in August, they're going to meet their coaches for the very first time. They're going to meet their teammates. Um, that's not normal. So I think there's tremendous value in, in the person-to-person contact and in, in the relationships. We recruit some of these young people for uh, for years. So we get to know them and, and become very close. And and that's when uh, when things, you know, kids stay and they become bought in and uh, you know, so I value that a lot, but there'll be some things that, uh, uh, you know, will become our new norm. And I think, uh, you know, the technology piece is something we've used a lot in our program here. Uh, but, uh, there's some other things out there that, uh, will become very, very popular, I think. Well, speaking of being there at home, when you or your wife go to the store and you know, you're going to be quarantined for a while, you can't go back. What are the things you got to have in the cabinets that you go, if you get this, get a lot of it because that's your thing. Yeah, it, and, and it's amazing how that's changed over the last month. I'm a, I'm a, I was a huge chips and salsa guy, still am. And, um, you know, and, and, but it, as, as we've gone on, we've really tried to start eating a lot healthier. So it's, it's a lot of salads. It's a, um, you know, we've, uh, we try to plan a week out and, and um, you know, lay every meal out in, in, in advance. Uh, I'm still got my, my favorites. I love, I love making pizzas on the grill. Uh, so we plan that about once a week. Uh, uh, so we're going to stock up there. I'm, I love, I love good Mexican food. So we, we still find a way to, to, to have tacos and, and some of that stuff. But, uh, you know, it's, 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 uh, I'm trying to eat a little healthier. I'm trying to stay in shape, not walk by the refrigerator every time and open it up. And, uh, but, uh, you know, I, the one thing I've got to have is my morning yogurt, my morning coffee. And, um, that, that's always going to be there. I'm curious about the pizza on the grill thing because I love grilling, but I've never done a pizza that way. Are, are you like slapping a frozen pizza on there? Are you making yours from scratch? How does this work? We're making them from scratch minus the crust. Okay. So what we do is we, we take a piece of non bread and, and, and then we, uh, uh, we change it up with the ingredients. And, you know, the last ones I've done some prosciutto, some salami, some prep pepperoni. Uh, of course you've got to have a, a good amount of mozzarella cheese on it. Yeah. Um, you know, we, we, we do them with beef sometimes and jalapenos and all the vegetables and, and, uh, you know, throw them on a grill and, and you can't get the grill too hot. You know, you've got to keep it uh, so it doesn't so it doesn't burn the crust, but that it cooks through. And uh, I like a crisp crust. So, uh, man, our family loves them, and, and it's just uh, you know something different, something you don't have every day. And I don't have a lot of time for during the season. And and uh, but um, uh, I enjoy grilling out. So any chance I get to do that, I'm 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 on the grill. We'll have to have you do a, a cooking segment with us sometimes. <laughs> it sounds like uh, you've got it all planned out. That's perfect. I, I enjoy cooking. It's the one thing I enjoy doing. And, and my wife doesn't like me doing it because it usually means I make a big mess. But, uh, <laughs> uh, but I, I do enjoy it. Is she uh, commenting from the other room? <laughs> no, I was smart enough to lock the doors <laughs> in my office so she can't get in. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Uh, let's talk about the uh, haircut situation. Mine, oh. Mine's getting, it was like a week before the Big Ten tournament. I'm like, I'm going to get my hair cut. want to look nice. We're going to work. And then uh, I usually go about three weeks, and then I have to get it cut again, and it's going to be about eight. What, uh, do you have a plan? Is your wife good with scissors? No, no. I would not, <laughs> let, her, I would not let her near it. We have uh, Jeff Alexander on our staff. Uh, you know, he can take the shears and, and do his and, He's actually done my my son, but uh, uh, no, that's why the hat. Uh, we're becoming uh, very popular with hat. I will probably have a mullet uh, when when this is over, the way it's grown and starting sure. to curl in the back, and 
Uh, but yeah, it's, it, that's, that's one of those things that is, is truly a challenge. And uh, I'm finding out I've got gray hair coming in, in a lot of places that uh, <laughs> I usually cut out before. So uh, who knows what we'll look like when, when this is all over. Your, your daughters couldn't, couldn't learn on YouTube or something? And... No, no chance I'm letting them do it. <laughs> no, there, would, there would be an experiment probably take place that would not, would not fare very well for me. I'm sensing like a family game night or something, and you could uh, you just sort of all get together and gather around uh, YouTube and, and cut dad's hair. Well, there's a lot of things we'll do around YouTube, but letting him cut my hair is not going to be one of them. So not we'll let it grow and let it take its... Uh, take its natural path but uh, yeah no one no one in my family is very artistic or or musically inclined or gifted with a pair of scissors and and uh, I'm sure not going to let them try but uh, yeah we've got another um, I'm like you I go I was going every three weeks and ooh, this will be uh, this will be a little scruffy here by the by the time we get back I'm toying with having my the guy who cuts my hair get on zoom and talk me through it just just Ooh. to see what happened i i don't know that i'm brave enough yet but i've considered Ooh. it i don't I, I don't have the proper utensils to do that but i sure i know there's no way i can do that <laughs> you i would love to see your after the you know the full before and after when you're when you're done with that i i think a lot of people would i'm not sure i'm one of them but uh <laughs> we'll see we'll see how bad it gets over time no question uh, I, I would assume uh, you are sort of moving full speed ahead toward uh, the 2020-2021 season. Um, uh, there's, I guess, no other way to do it, but um, can you even speculate what that's going to look like? Or are you just planning on it being normal and then having to adjust as, uh, as time goes by? Well, I think everything's so fluid. And, uh, uh, I, you know, early on in this, I was, I was, I was really – consuming myself with okay we're not going to have a summer we what's it going to look like in the fall and and uh um I, i've kind of stopped doing that uh just i'm just trying to take it day by day because everything changes so much um or really so very little because there's so there is there's we don't know and uh so, you know, I, I, I have a feeling that, uh, you know, we obviously know that classes will be uh, online at the university through the summer. Um, what that means for athletics, yet we still um, don't know. Uh, I think until um, uh, we start seeing pro franchises or pro sports come back in some sense, uh, you know, with the NBA or Major League Baseball, we'll see what they do. Uh, here this later this spring and early summer, uh, and then I think we can we can start to see some trends that way. But uh, you know, I wouldn't. Um, I it'd, it'd be very it'd be just a guess for me to to speculate. But yeah, we plan on every scenario. We're moving full speed ahead, uh, like nothing's like nothing's going to change. But we'll make those changes as 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 need be. Well, I guess the only thing I would suggest is you might want to get that haircut before you start visiting, you know, students in their homes again. Mullet might not uh, be the first impression they want. Yeah, that's uh, that's kind of a 1980s look, and that's probably not going to be the uh, the best thing to go in home. But I, yeah, <laughs> there'll, be, there'll be no, there'll be uh, that'll be one of the first things I'll get done when this is over is a is a good haircut. Well, I certainly appreciate your time and uh, glad to hear that uh, all is well at the house. It sounds like you're eating well and having some, uh, some family time you wouldn't normally get. So uh, thanks for sharing that with us. Absolutely. We've been, we're very blessed. And, and like I said, that is the silver lining in this is going to spend a lot of time with my kids and, and, and my wife hasn't locked me out yet. And, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll take it day by day and I hope everybody else does the same and stay safe and, helps flatten the curve and let's uh, let's try to get back to the as close as we can to normal as soon as we can. Can we get a quick look? Oh yeah, it's a mess. There we go. <laughs> there we go. We, we don't we don't we don't even try anymore. It's uh, <laughs> uh, and and then it's uh, we we know we've got the workout coming up so uh, yeah, it's we're we're a mess. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed the first episode of At Home with Tim Sinclair. From here in my home, into the homes of people that you know and love to find out what life is like inside their four walls. We have more fun content to come. We'll see you next time.